So now moving to more the applied part. So Amina, where do you see the opportunities? We ha we have the slides on in front of us, but not behind us. Here, you have it. Imagine the roads where artificial intelligence will take the rule of all human drivers. Data drives our electric cars, and no accidents exist anymore. This sounds like a science fiction. Artificial intelligence will play a vital role in the development of autonomous vehicles. Through machine learning techniques, artificial intelligence will be able to make these cars move through traffic, make decisions, and perceive their surroundings. Artificial intelligence will monitor and analyze the traffic in real time, allowing for dynamic traffic management. This will reduce the traffic congestion and improve the overall traffic flow. Artificial intelligence will predict the traffic conditions, the usage of public services, and the demand for ride-sharing services. The data-driven insights will be very valuable in optimizing the routes, scheduling the services, and at the same time, allocating the charging resources. Artificial intelligence will support logistics. It will optimize the routes, predict the demand, and manage the inventory. This is very crucial for efficient transportation of goods. Artificial intelligence will also support the operators of the charging infrastructure. And this will contribute to the management of the charging infrastructure in terms of the energy cost as well as the maintenance. And this will contribute finally to the economic sustainability of the charging infrastructure. Artificial intelligence will also support electric utilities in the form that it will facilitate the integration of electric vehicles into the power networks, which will reduce the strain on the electric networks and balance the load. And this is very important, especially during the power peak loads. Artificial intelligence will also improve the end user experience and this is actually by providing him with information about the available charging infrastructure, um, the waiting time, and how to navigate to the nearest charging infrastructure. Artificial intelligence will revolutionize the transportation sector by considering the optimal planning of this sector. By leveraging data and algorithms, the transportation is gonna be made easier, safe, sustainable and efficient. In the Smart Operation Research Lab at Khalifa University, we have covered multiple projects focusing on how AI will revolutionize this transportation sector. We looked at the planning of the transportation sector from two scopes. One of them is the long-term planning of the transportation sector, and the other one is the short-term operational planning of the transportation sector. When we talk about the long-term planning, we're looking at two things. One of them is the location and sizing of charging infrastructure, and the other one is the predicting of the energy demand for this charging infrastructure. We looked at the predicting of the energy demand of this charging infrastructure, and we looked at the weather impact. So the weather, like the weather conditions like the temperature, the humidity, and the wind speed will impact the energy demand of these charging infrastructures. In hot weather, the electric batteries will degrade very quickly, which will necessitate more charging. In winter, the battery will need to be heated up first before being charged, which is gonna add more demand onto the power network. Now, artificial intelligence is actually, is gonna help also in identifying the demand in terms of the energy from these transportation electric vehicles. And at the same time, schedule the charging sessions. In the second project, we looked at the optimal allocation of the charging infrastructure and sizing them. We took into consideration the projection of the electric vehicle demand and adoption growth rate, the driving behavior, and the traffic conditions. And we're targeting finding the best locations and sizes for this charging infrastructure. Then we move to the short-term planning of the autonomous transportation. 
And in that case, we considered multiple projects as well. Now, autonomous cars are actually self-driving cars. And then when they operate in the streets, sometimes we have human-driven cars, such as, for example, emergency vehicles like police cars. And when we need to make sure is that both types of cars operate well in these droughts, such that the human-driven vehicles, which are emergency vehicles, would reach their destination more quickly whenever they are needed. So what we did, we did an emergency vehicle aware land change model that used the power of AI to plan how these emergency vehicles, which are human-driven, would reach their destination fast by taking the benefits of autonomous vehicles given that they're gonna give the priority of access to these emergency vehicles to reach their destinations. In the second project, we looked at the other side. What if this emergency vehicle is actually autonomous? For example, in the case of fire, or if we need an ambulance, every second counts. So we need to make sure that these emergency vehicles can cope with the other cars on the streets. So we have diffused the power of AI to plan these emergency vehicles, which are autonomous, such that they can reach to this, their destination by finding the optimal path, and as well as controlling the traffic, and at the same time, navigating through the traffic without causing a problem to other road users. Now, what makes it challenging for autonomous vehicles is the adverse weather conditions. Because if it's raining, for example, the, weather, the roads will get wet. And in that case, we need to make sure that there are no accidents taking place. So we benefited with the power of AI to take the weather impact in our planning problem. And we made sure that no accidents will take place when we program our autonomous vehicles. And this has been really achieved in the Smart Operation Lab. Now, I'm going to focus on one showcase where we considered, actually, the Dubai. Dubai is divided into 14 districts, and we want to investigate how AI is powerful in planning the charging infrastructure. Now, to plan the charging infrastructure, we consider two types of charging. One of them is the electric charging infrastructure, and the other one is the dynamic wireless charging infrastructure. But the question that may come up, why we should consider dynamic wireless charging? The idea here is that if we wanna go fully autonomous, that means we want also the charging to be autonomous. And this is why dynamic wireless charging is really important. We consider two case studies. In the first case study, we looked at optimally allocating and sizing the dynamic wireless charging infrastructure and the charging stations infrastructure as well without the using the power of AI, but focusing only on the optimization. And then we have developed a novel AI model, which is a hybridized model taking of the benefits of multiple AI algorithms. And we did the same problem again. And we have found that we were able to minimize the government infrastructure um, cost by 2.2%. So this was an overview of the research that we have done at Khalifa University at the Smart Operation Research Lab. Thank you. Thank you, Amina. Very insightful, uh, showing both the potential of artificial intelligence to give insights, but also to automate. So um, and I think th this is quite comprehensive. It shows that we can tackle a complex problem. Uh, you show uh, infrastructure. Yesterday, we had a workshop on food, an immense amount of waste that could be addressed applying the same thing. Uh, one caveat just for the discussion is that it works well in machine-to-machine -machine interactions where you can really apply. Unfortunately, when you put human being in the equation, there are some uh, randomness that makes uh, AI more difficult to apply. So uh, that's notably the case with the autonomous vehicle, but of everything that was shown. So a huge potential. Thank you.